Yeah, I don't know why five players are there. I, I think it has to do something with Rezon. He scared everybody away from Holly Hedges. Anybody that normally landed into that path is said, no, I'm just going to go try my chance at Salty there. As we are now over to the Fortilla, this is Mongrel. And he's been dropping here for, for a while. We know that. But he does not have Ocean's Burst AR in Ocean's Bottomless Chug Jug. Someone else may have snagged it from him. And with his aim and with what he can do with it, that Mythic Burst AR is so, so good here from him. But it looks like he's not going to need it now. As he's going to get some tags going into this slide. That player going to have to back out. Mongol, though, not going to let him do it. He's got to be careful. He is running out of AR ammo, but he says, you know what? Who needs an AR? I got a shotgun and a crash pad. I'm going into the box. He is going to miss the jump a little bit, almost deploying a crash pad there, but the continued pressure is, that he's keeping up is trying to keep this player from going any higher, and it's Smudge just trying to get away. He's got a little sliver of HP, but Mongo going to get in the box and do that Mongo Classic and get the elimination. And it re like he had to resolve that fight right away because even picking that up with the additional match drop now only has 52 materials and while he is in the zone since it did pull towards that south side he's going to need to find it and with so many other players around this area it's going to be really hard to max out quickly but now let's hop on board with our match number one winner as you can see the format in the right hand side each elimination being worth a point you can see once you get into that top 10 you'll have eight placement points going through all the way up to 14 for first. Then you can see 11th through 15th is seven, 16th through 20th is six. It's the intervals of five, then the intervals of 10. And of course, you get that first placement point after the first 25 players have gone down. So still plenty of players who need to drop here, which generally is a little slower from EU. You'll typically see a little more aggression going on. However, as you get further and further on into tournaments, the stakes and the players become that much more difficult to fight against. And it's really hard to confidently take an early fight as we have Rax in the Costa Rican Sebi in a battle over here. Ooh, and Rax on the back foot already. Now this is that weather station just above Caddy. A Sebi going in, the shot are going to go through. He's going to get the initial damage and he's going to follow up with the AR and the crowd spam and it's going to pay off for him. The Lynch comes through, but now the question posed for Sebi is, can he go get its loot? Can he go get the Shockwave Launcher and that charged shotgun? Or will he settle for some of the vault loot? And generally, that's the goal. It's to go through, get whatever you can from the weather station, resolve a fight there.